Let's talk about squatting with a belt. So when you're powerlifting, oftentimes the, the big limiting factor is this midsection here. If the, if the spine collapses, then I can't get the force that I produce from the ground to go up into the bar, and then the bar crushes me, and I can't get that lift. So a good way to overcome that is to increase the pressure that is in your abdomen. The first way that I would do, and the, the way that I would recommend for most clients, is to do make, like make a fake belt, but with your abs and with your, your core muscles. So I, I exhale, I brace everything, and then I inhale into it, and I try to keep that, that pressure there, keep this internal stuff pressurized, and then I can hang on to that while I come back up, and everything feels stiffer. Everything feels like I can produce more force. The same principle works if I'm wearing a belt. So if I have a nice big thick lifting belt, I wrap it around, I put it as tight as I can get it, kind of, but it doesn't have to totally <gasps> suck all of myself in, right? Because I, I'm going to need to have something to breathe into. I'm going to need some sort of pressure. And I don't necessarily want that pressure. I don't want this belt to be sucking me in so much that when I breathe in, it all comes just straight up, right? Because I don't need the pressure there. I need the pressure here. So maybe not quite as tight as you can get it. Maybe about a notch looser than that. Maybe a notch or two. Um, but it's the same thing as using your abs, right? So that belt creates the abs. You still want to use your own abs and you still want to breathe into that belt. What I like to think of is if you have the, if you're looking from the top down here and you got the belt around you, I want that belt to expand in all directions as you breathe in. Sometimes people are really good at breathing forward, but not so good at breathing backward. And I would say more than sometimes, that's really often the case. What I want you to do, what I want you to focus on and think about is instead breathe backward. Just try to breathe backward because then you'll end up coming into this like middle ground area where you're breathing in all directions. It's really difficult. Uh, oftentimes if you have trouble with this, these people are squatting with their backs arched a little bit more and they don't have this good position where their pelvic floor here can receive the pressure. And so the pressure gets pushed forward because now I've closed my back this way and the pressure falls this way. So to maintain that, we just have to make sure first and foremost that we have a good hip position as we're squatting and then we can start to create more tension and then we can breathe into it and use that to, you know, increase our lifts.